Lap of cares. Judges 16, 19 to 20. Then she lulled him to sleep on her knees and called for a man and had him shave off the seven locks of his head. Then she began to torment him and his strength left him. And she said, The Philistines are upon you, Samson. So he awoke from his sleep and said, I will go out as before at other times and shake myself free. But he did not know the Lord had departed from him. This week, we've been talking about the life of Samson and we've traced his life from the amazing call and the tremendous anointing that is on, was on his life and some of the things that led to his downfall. We've been dwelling on the lap of Delilah where it was in that place Samson lost his consecration to God. And we're trying to uh, relate that to our day and time. What would cause us to lose our consecration to God? We have said that the lap of Delilah to us represents, first of all, a place of compromise. Compromise uh, takes us away from our place of consecration before God. Secondly, we said it was a place of complacency. That we dropped our guard, just go back to that place where we shouldn't go, become complacent, and moves us from our place of consecration to God. Now I want to just use our imagination a little bit and try to understand why did Samson go back to the lap of Delilah? I just like us to use our imagination a little bit as we consider why would Samson go back to that place and lie again in the lap of Delilah knowing fully well that she was the one person who knew other than his own parents of course she was the one person who knew the secret to his strength why would he do that and I'm just using my imagination a little bit here but I think it would point us to a biblical truth in the New Testament that is relevant for us as believers I can only imagine that Samson must have been uh, heavy with care and with responsibility. So you could, you know, Samson was there being the judge of Israel. He must have had a long day, maybe a long week, maybe a tiring few weeks. And in that place of carrying those cares and those responsibilities, he said, look, I deserve this place. And so you just go back and lie down in Delilah's lap, thinking he deserved it because of all the cares and all the responsibilities that he had to attend to. So you come into the New Testament and you find something very interesting Jesus said in Mark 4. He said, talking about what would rob the, the, keep the word of God from producing the life of the believer, he said the cares of this world, the deceitfulness of riches and the desire for other things will choke the word. So what is it that really destroys in one sense the work of God in a believer's life you know God is at work but what chokes the work of God he says the cares of this world the deceitfulness of riches the lust or the desire for other things so I'm just calling this the lap of cares meaning uh, all the responsibility we have all the desires we have in the, in the, the world and we are pursuing it and then it just draws us away from our place of consecration before God. And that leads us away to a place of weakness before God without us even knowing it, that these things have choked the work of God in our lives. We wake up as at other times, not knowing that there's something that has weakened God's work inside of us. The cares of this world, the deceitfulness of riches, the lust for the things. Let's beware of the lap of Delilah. Let's stay strong to the call of God, the anointing of God on our lives. Let's pray. Father, we ask in Jesus' name that you'll help us learn lessons from Samson's life. Give us the strength in our day and our time to be true to your call, true to your anointing, and fulfill your purpose on our lives. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. 
For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.